Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to another video. It's your girl, Dinah. Today is gonna be a bit of a haphazard project that I'm working on. And so, if you're following me on my Instagram page, which if you're not, I'll show it up here for you, Tico Couture, go ahead and follow. I like to do something for Black History Month where I post four looks. And so the trend that I've started doing now is it's called the Media Look Series, where I basically take four iconic looks on black celebrities that I just really loved. Like it just stayed in my head and I had to remake it, but in crochet four, you know, with my own little spins and twists to it to make it work for me and my very strict timeline. And so if you've watched one of the previous videos and you already saw my remake of the Kiki Palma sweater um, in Nope, which I mean, I feel like I did a pretty good job. I did. If you're following my series, hopefully you've seen honestly all of the pieces by now. But in this video, we're going to be working on remaking this fit. She wore this really beautiful like green fit and it was it was very dochi. It was just very stylish. You know, I looked at it and I was like, I want that outfit. I probably can't afford that outfit if I'm being real, but I can make a crochet version of it myself. And so the reason why this video is going to kind of be a little mishmashy all over the place is because I've already started. I actually wasn't planning on filming the process. Now this is what I've worked on so far. So the part that I wanted to try and finish yesterday was the dress. And as you know, the dress, it's, it's floor length. It goes to the floor and it's long sleeve, okay? That in itself should be the full outfit, but you know, I have to do it all. Okay, so as y'all can see, I have started the dress. It goes about here. I probably need to add a bit more length because I really want it to be obnoxious and like touch the floor. I could try it on. Okay, let me try it on actually. Alrighty, so this is what it looks like on, which as you can see, it fits just how I want it to. It's really nice because like it fits snug, but it also isn't hugging me really tight, which is an adjustment that I made sure to make this time around. But we're about at mid boob, at mid boob, at mid boob length. We're gonna build it up here, leave a room for the holes for the arms, and we're just gonna have an opening here for the arms, and then I'm gonna go ahead and make the long sleeve the long sleeve shirt part of this. Wow, this looks good so far, even though it's not done. Like, look at that. Mm. And then as you can see, it's long, but I think I want, I want it to be longer because in the picture, like it literally is right on top of the shoe. So I'm gonna add it till it gets to my foot. So I'm gonna have to add some more rows that way. So while that's all dandy, I do kind of want to take a break from working on the dress. Even though I know, like, if I persevere, like, I really won't have too much left to do. Yeah, but your girl is very, very tired, and I feel like I just need a break on this dress. And so I actually want to start making one of the accessory pieces. So there are three other accessory pieces that go with the dress, as y'all see in the picture. There's the scarf, there's, like, this little arm warmer, and then, well, technically, this, the, she has, like, a turtleneck kind of thing situation happening here. But I think that I, instead of doing the long turtleneck, I think I'll either make a hoodie or I'll make a bak bak baklava. I'm sorry, I do not know how to pronounce it. You know, I haven't made one yet. So I'm like, I feel like this is a good piece to give it a try because um, I feel like it'll fit well. I'll show you my supplies. Oh, one other thing about this project is I'm using uh, scrap yarn. I'm not using any new yarn. When I was first starting out, I bought a lot of paint box yarn. Um, that was before I really decided to get tuned to the, you know, the sustainability train. But if you're looking for a good quality and also um, relatively inexpensive acrylic yarn, Paint Box is a really great brand. They have a variety of colors. So if you're a color girl, Paint Box is definitely the one for you. I'm using a DK weight for the dress and I'm using a chunky, if you can really call this chunky, but I'm using a chunkier weight for the scarf and then maybe the accessories if I have the yarn left over. And also another important part is the fiber fill. I got this off of Amazon. It took forever to come. Now I've used fiber fill before. Wow, they really smushed this together. 
Ooh, look at how it expanded. Wow, technology, I swear. Look at that, fancy or whatever. Um, but yeah, I've made it to make a tiny teddy bear, but that's the only kind of loose fiber though. So this is going to be interesting. I think I'll just go with a five millimeter hook. Okay. So this is what I'm gonna attempt to do. I am going to refer back to the picture actually because I forgot how thick the car the scarf is supposed to be. So, you know, it's thick, but it's not too thick. So let me begin some stall the chains. All right, so this is about a chain of 30. That feels wide enough for me. Can't really tell if hers is wider or not. But I feel like this feels wide enough for me. I think I'm content with this. all right so i actually decided i'm gonna do something outside of the ordinary and i'm going to go outside i'm the type you know it's very difficult for me to go outside but especially in the colder months here in chicago if you catch me outside it's because somebody forced me. But today, it's a really beautiful day. I honestly have not been outside in a really long time, which is kind of sad. And it's one of the few days where I'm actually dressed, like in going outside clothes. And uh, just trying to give myself more of a break. And so I think what I might try to do is see if there are some bikes, hopefully an electric bike. I would really like an electric bike. And I might try and bike to like the point, which is like where the lake is here in Chicago by the university. So I might try and do that. <laughs> I made it to the point. I just want to say I'm very proud of myself. I just realized this is the first time I've been biking like on my own, like by myself. And I biked all the way to the point. So I'm very proud of myself. So let's go see the lake, shall we? That was actually really nice. I feel like it was just what the doctor ordered. I was feeling so lousy yesterday because like I didn't make progress with this, but at the same time, I knew that my body was exhausted. <laughs> but it was a really nice day outside. I think I went literally the perfect timing. The ride back, it was definitely a lot colder. And I'm really glad I wore this because I feel like wearing a winter coat would have been too much. But this is really heavy too, so it keeps me very nice and warm. And it had a hood that I could tie up. Because I realized, like, when I was walking, I was fine. But, you know, them electric bikes, they be speedy. And that wind was hitting me. Okay, so I went like this. And I was riding around like this. Did a little bit of this. Tied it up. Boom. I was riding around like this. Did I look crazy? Maybe. But were my ears protected? Yes. But I think I had a really nice moment of break. 
One thing about exercising though is like I'm hungry. There's no food. I have these. I've actually crocheted three of these suckers. Now, pardon me, I know what I should have done was I should have made it smaller, like this. Because I think length is going to be more important than width. But your girl just kept going and didn't really feel like stopping. I've already attempted stuffing one. And so this is what it looks like stuffed-ish. This is what it looks like without the stuffing. And I think I'm going to wait to do all the sewing towards the end. So we'll see how long this ends up being. I don't think it's going to be a very long scarf, which is unfortunate. I don't think I have enough yarn. I think I'm just going to make a couple of these for now. I don't think I'm going to finish the scarf today. All right, y'all. I'm going to get back to work. Okay, y'all. So I just want to preface this with the fact that I really messed up yesterday when I decided to go out and bike because let me tell you when I came back I did nothing else okay it is now almost 24 hours later and I just decided to pick up this hook and make more progress on this fit but ooh, we have most of the dress portion done like can we just talk about how well this fits me can we talk about it and wait wait for it wait for it boom i wish this meant we were done unfortunately it doesn't as y'all know we need to add sleeves so the sleeves are like tight like in the thing so i gotta make these form-fitting sleeves and uh it's gonna be a process to try and do it i don't know what tactic I want to do, like if I want to do both of them at the same time so I can remember how how long the stitch should be, etc, etc. Um, and we'll see, like I hope adding sleeves doesn't have an effect on the open back and it can still look like this. Accessory wise, nothing has changed. I did not make much progress on either any of the accessory parts of this dress. So I'm making it my goal tonight to finish the, this part add the sleeves to try and finish that tonight and then we'll worry about the rest of the parts later. Dinah is behind schedule as always. Okay y'all I have an update. It is definitely really late in, at night as you can see by the lines on this screen. I'm not sure what time it is. I have not looked at the clock but we finished the dress. So as you can see here, this is what it looks like. It looks pretty good. I'm not gonna show y'all what it looks like on yet, but come on now, come on. I really crocheted that whole thing. I did that, look at that. I'm hoping it looks good on, I'm hoping I did the arms like close enough to being the same. I know there are probably a bit of differences and I hope I didn't miscount anything or accidentally skip over stuff because, you know, I really was just winging it. I'm gonna go to bed. I'll catch y'all tomorrow. Good morning, party people. As you can see, well, I don't know if you can see, but I've washed my hair. Ooh, this this twist came undone. I kind of did the lazy girl method of hair washing though. So let's hope these don't turn into locks, but I woke up late and I have work. Instead of taking down these uh, mini twists that I had in my hair, I just kind of washed it. Hopefully next weekend, I will be able to take my twist down properly. But this week, and this weekend, I'm just too busy to make the time. Too busy, got way too much to do. So this will have to do for now. But yeah, I'm gonna get to work and then I'll be in touch with y'all later on today once I finally get back into making more progress on the Dochi Remake Crochet outfit. But I'm working on the baklava. I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm just gonna call it a ski mask. I'm working on the ski mask portion of this now. And I've never made one before, so I'm just gonna wing it. Now that I'm doing this, I'm thinking, should I have started at the top of the head and made it like I would a hat? 
and then decreased around the neck? I don't know. How do I look? I'd say for my first ski mask, it looks pretty decent. I gotta sew in this hole on the top, but this looks nice. Okay, Dinah. Can't really breathe in there. I ain't gonna front with y'all, but it's done. I'm going to attempt to try to take this off my head because it wasn't easy to put on. And then I'm gonna get to this freaking scarf. I'm so close to the finish line. Finally! Finally! Alright, let me take this off because it's hot. It's real hot. basically done there are more key components in the actual outfit that I'm replicating with Dochi that um, is in it but I have decided not to do it because one I'm kind of running out of the yarn that I need to really do it and two I'm tired okay I think I've done more than enough and so just so y'all can I can show y'all a little sneak peek before the big reveal this is the dress, basically mostly done. As you can see, the sleeves have been added. It's very long. I even have to add a couple more rows. But I'm very proud of how this came out. And then it's backless at the back, so very happy. I definitely see myself just wearing this whenever I have a special event. Probably not in the summer. I'm going to wait for the warmer months to pull this out, but so cute. And then we have the complete ski mask. Honestly, making this made me realize I have such a big head because, you know, it's not easy to put this thing on. I ain't going front with you. Um, and it's kind of tight and suffocates me a little. So it really made me realize I do got a big head, but this is what we gonna do. I don't know if I'm ever gonna make a ski mask again. We'll see. And then the puff sweater. Okay, so before I show y'all this, like, it came out okay. You know, I think it's my first time making this, so please give me grace when I show it to you. But this is what it looks like, so you definitely can see the puff effect for sure. The sucky thing about it is I made it very short. Like, this is not near long enough to be a scarf. You see that? <laughs> As a matter of fact, I should have followed my gut when I first started making these, like after I finished the first patch, and I should have just like made the width a little bit smaller so I could have had more yarn to really get at the length. But you know, we all make mistakes. So I'm just probably gonna, we're gonna figure out how I style it. I might just style it like this. I'm not gonna add the little cuff thing that's supposed to be there. I just don't feel like it in all honesty these are all of the pieces um and without further ado let's go to the reveal i tell you baby i've been burned out let's spin the wheels and leave a burnout if i stay here i know it turns out bad wondering when it is my turn now i'm getting away i tell you i've been burned out let's spin the wheels and leave a burnout I stay here, I know it turns out bad. Wonder when it is my turn. Now I'm getting away. Hey. Face black from the back of a white Bentley Trying to turn my back on the cash, but it might tempt me Everybody telling me chill, but it turns out I've been trying to 